Okay, so we're gonna do a frozen face today on Christina. So for frozen, we're gonna load these two colors. This is wolf blue and light blue. And so we're loading it so that we have the colors on both sides, All right? And then we're gonna let those blend together naturally. So I'm gonna come around from this corner of her eye and bring it across here and it's not wet enough. Okay, so you see how that's broken up? It's because I don't have enough water on it. But I don't want so much water that it's dripping. So let me show you. Okay, so we're gonna come around here, come swoosh down over her eye, and then bring up to a point. See how we got that point? And then I'm gonna come back here and bring this down under her eye to another point there. So what we have is this swoosh going around her eyes. Now, while that's wet, I'm going to tell her to close her eyes. So when you have a child with this, go ahead and assure the parent that this is professional glitter for face painting. It's not craft glitter from the craft store. So if they do get some in their eyes, it's not going to scratch the cornea and it's safe. So I like to use this poofer because it just puts it lightly over it while it's wet. Okay, and that's all the color we're going to need. Now I'm just going to go to my white and I'm going to embellish the design with swirls and curls. All right, this is a very basic design. It's easy to do. All right, so now you're going to see how I load my brush. I'm going to get it somewhat liquidy, but I don't want it dripping. All right, so I'm going to move it around, move it around. This is Wolf White. If you know your face paints, this is a very good white. So what I want to do is come in with some Starburst and some snowflakes because this is a frozen theme. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a snowflake over here on the corner of her eye. So I'm gonna start with a dot and bring a flick up, flick down, flick out, and flick in. Okay, so I don't wanna go into her eye, so that's enough. And to make it more like a snowflake, I'm gonna put some dots on the ends, and then I'm gonna bring shorter ones here, here, and here. So I'm just doing those with flicks. Okay, and then to make it more snowflake-like, I'm going to bring this little arm, arm out here on each side. Same thing down here. So I'm using the tip of my brush. You see how I'm just touching the tip so that I get those thin lines like a snowflake. Okay, and I'm going to stop. That's enough there. Now, I want to do one right in the middle. So I'm going to do another dot. So I'm making that my center point, just kind of anchoring me. And then I'm going to pull up, flick up, flick down, flick out. And I'm bringing these, these four out kind of far. That's the biggest part of the snowflake. Then I'm going to bring these in the center a little shorter. OK, and two points. Then I'm going to put dots on the end. Because remember, this is a snowflake. It's not a, our regular princess tiara. Right, I'm going to go ahead and dot these on this center one, okay? Now I'm going to bring the little arms up, flick out, flick out. Okay, and if you want to, you can connect some of these. To save time, I would leave it just like that. But if you want to, you can connect some of them. and you're giving yourself a different snowflake shape. You see how that starts to change the shape of the snowflake? Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do one more pretty good sized one. Pull, pull, pull. Right, and this one I am not going to put all the decoration on. And I'm going to come down here, and now I'm just going to do Starburst. Okay, and then a couple with just the four. And then I'm going to put a couple more up here. I like to put pairs of Starburst together. I think that looks good. And I'm going to do a tiny one here. So you just want to get smaller and smaller. Okay, so now to tie this together, I want to put some teardrops in there. So I'm going to put some over here on the side. So I'm just going to come around 
down towards the snowflake, pull in, come a little lower, pull in, a little lower, and one more. You see how that gives that nice shape there? And now I'm going to do this one this direction, but I'm actually going to go on to the blue. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one and pull in. Next one, a little higher. And then the next one, a little higher. Okay, see how we have those? So I've got this one coming this way and this one going this way. Okay, now I want to fill in this area here with just a few dots. So I'm bringing this together and this together. All right, so I'm going to come here. Notice how I'm varying the size. Bigger, smaller, medium, bigger, and tiny, 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 as I come down to the end. Same thing here, I'm going to do my big one. And a little smaller, a medium size, a little smaller, and then I'm going to get tiny, tiny, tiny as I come in. Okay, so now I've got darkened body art, and it's a liquid glitter. So I'm going to use it in a dot form. Now watch when I just put a dot. Look how that looks like a diamond. And I'm also going to vary the size of these dots as well. And I may do the center of some of these, or I could actually do the outer edges of your Starburst. Okay, you can also do just these areas that are still open. So what, is, what this is doing is putting just a series of diamonds around through the swirl. And that's actually what it dries looking like just looks like little diamonds that you put on here. And it's really quick, rather than taking little stickers of diamonds and putting them on. Okay. And then you can even do some on the skin area. You don't have to stay on the blue all the time. For example, if I wanted to put a swirl here. See how pretty that is? I like to use this to do those kind of things. Come over here. So you just bring it. Just keep your lines thin. You see how thin I'm using? When I write with this, I use the side. So I take it sideways and make it very thin. If I go straight on, that's the only one I want to do dots. I don't want real thick, wavy lines. I want control, and I want them nice and thin like that. So I might bring another one up here. Okay, see, so we've got swirls going that way and this way. So that's a nice frozen design for Queen Elsa, and you look very pretty, Christine. <laughs>